Hey friends, Ash here with Incense. Hope you're doing well today. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at this fragrance right here. This is Tommy Hilfiger Impact, one of the newest releases from Tommy Hilfiger. This one actually took a while to come out in the US. I covered this on This Week in Fragrance back last year and it took many months before I could actually get my hands on it. Now though, you can buy it direct from Tommy Hilfiger and you can find it at discounters too, so it's readily available. Like always, we're gonna take a look at the presentation. <laughs> that, that's the box. And we're gonna take a look at something special built into this little cap right here. We're also gonna go over the fragrance, break it down, let you know how it smells, what it reminds me of, and whether it's worth checking out. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and check out their presentation first. And first, we'll start with the box. So we've got here the name of the fragrance impact, the name of the house, size and concentration at the bottom. And one thing that you're gonna notice down here in the corner, you have 3.4 fluid ounces plus 0.14 fluid ounces. And on the other side, 100 milliliters plus four milliliters. So technically 104 mils. At the top, Tommy Hilfiger. And on the back, you have what I alluded to with the cap, and we're gonna take a look at that in one moment. And then on the bottom, you've got your ingredient information. And here is your bottle. And I think it actually looks pretty good. Feels good in the hand, nice and heavy. You've got the cap here, which looks kind of like an oversized T. You've got your Tommy Hilfiger colors around the collar. And then it also says Tommy Hilfiger right there. And the cap does click into place, but I wouldn't pick it up by the cap. It's not super snug. And then you'll also notice that this T sort of cap matches the inside of the bottle right here, where you have the atomizer tube coming down. Nothing doing on the back. And then on the bottom, you have a sticker with your badge code, which is B20. I'll go ahead and waste a spray for you guys here. Atomizer is okay, nothing amazing. And I guess let's go ahead and take a look at this cap a little bit closer. So you saw it here. You saw it on the front, 100 milliliters, which is this, plus four milliliters, which is inside the cap. You just pull on it, and there's a tiny little travel atomizer. So basically, if you wanted to, you can take the cap off of your bottle and put this in your jacket or in your car, whatever, and then refresh in with the fragrance throughout the day. And this does come all the way out, there it is, just a little four mil sample spray, basically. So there you can see it, Tommy Hilfiger Impact. And then you just pop it back in and back to normal. So that's really interesting. That's the first time, at least in my memory, where they've done this, uh, any designer house where they've put a travel spray in the cap. Now, price-wise, this retails for $77 for this size bottle, 100 mils. You can pick it up as of this video for about $50 on Fragrance X, so about 27 bucks off of full retail. And it's also on Fragrance Net as well. I think it's a little bit more expensive on Fragrance Net as compared to Fragrance X. I bought my bottle from Fragrance X. And this one's really interesting as well with the note breakdown. It seems like people can't quite agree what the notes in the fragrance are. Now, normally you could just go to the website of the manufacturer, so Tommy Hilfiger, and see all the notes listed out and be like, oh, okay, well, there it is. But when you go to their website, they only have a few notes on there. So you have to kind of dig around and poke around to see what all exactly is supposed to be in here. So let's finally talk about how this one smells. When you first spray this one on, you get a little bit of bitter orange and you get some apple in there right away. There's a bit of spiciness, not a huge amount. More so, it's a very fresh fragrance. Very much smells like a modern man's fresh, almost shower gel type of scent. It doesn't smell bad at all. It's not off-putting. My wife actually thinks it smells really nice. And very quickly, it will start to remind you a little bit of a classic men's fragrance, one that just about everybody is gonna recognize, and it's this one right here, Boss Bottled. Now don't take this as me saying Impact smells exactly like Boss Bottled, because it doesn't. But the way the apple comes across in here does smell almost like the apple 
from Boss Bottled, only freshened up, which might make you think of something like Boss Bottled Tonic even. So not exactly like Hugo Boss Bottled, but to some people, it's gonna remind them of that fragrance a little bit. Though, as I mentioned, impact much fresher. This is very much a spring summertime fragrance. It doesn't have a whole bunch of uh, density to it. it. Doesn't really have that cinnamon warmth that you're gonna find in Boss Bottled. Instead, here, you're getting more of that red apple and, and bits of bitter citrus initially. And then as it dries down, you get little bits of spice, so pops of fresh spiciness and some cypress as well in the mid. Really what this is centered on though, especially once you hit that dry down, it's gonna be the Akigala wood with bits of the residual sweetness from the fruits and the little pops of spice, but mainly woods, fresh, clean, modern woods. That's what this one is all about. So you're gonna get that Akigala wood, which is essentially a very cleaned up sort of uh, patchouli along with cedar wood and sandalwood and then cypress from the mid. Not really a whole bunch of that cypress though, more so centered on the fresh, clean, modern woods like I alluded to before. So ultimately this is trying to be that type of scent that's a dumb reach. Basically the kind of fragrance where you're going out somewhere, you want something that you know people are gonna think is pretty pleasant, you could grab this, spray it on, you're good to go. Nobody's gonna think anything negatively about it. And then I guess you could spray it on and just put this back up and, and drop this into your pocket if you wanted to. I mean, I think it's, it's cool and at the same time pretty gimmicky. It is ultimately just four milliliters. It's not like it looks really fancy because when you open it up, it's just, you know, this. It's basically a sample spray, but at the same time, better than nothing. So yeah, Impact, it's pleasant, but it is just kind of a modern shower gel kind of fragrance with a little bit of a Boss Bottled twinge to it. At $51, which is what I paid for it, I think that's really on the, the high end of what you should be looking for. Typically, Tommy Hilfiger fragrances get discounted pretty heavily, and it would not surprise me at all if at some point in the next year or so, you started to see this pop up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or stores like that in the US because Tommy Hilfiger fragrances have a habit of doing that. If you could pick this up in the $30 range, $35 range or below, then I think that's the sweet spot. Right in there, you can get a whole bunch of use out of this. It is a potential compliment puller because it does have that just mass appeal to it where they're you know, stripping anything, anything that could be offensive right out of this fragrance. There's nothing in here where people are gonna smell it and be like, oh, what's that? So it's a very, very safe scent, very versatile as well. So that's my thought pricing wise, 50 bucks. If you're interested, yeah, you can pick it up. I mean, you do get the cap travel spray thing. But 35 and below, I think that's the, the sweet spot for this one. In terms of seasons, you're looking at spring, summer, and fall. It's got a whole lot of versatility, like I said, though in winter time when it's really cold out, probably gonna reach for something else with a little more warmth, a little more richness, a little more depth. In terms of situations and when you would wear this, obviously casually, it is office safe, so you can pull it off there. Formal situations or more serious business situations probably go with something else. And as far as date nights, you could pull it off just because it does have that, that versatility, that mass appeal. But for me, I'd go with something different. One thing that I will say about this fragrance though, is that it has grown on me the more that I've worn it. So the very first time I sprayed this on, I thought it was okay, you know, not anything to write home about. But each time I've worn it afterward, I've liked it more. So that's a positive because there are some fragrances where, you know, the more you wear them, you start to just not really dig them. You dislike them, kind of set them to the side, don't wear them anymore. This one though, even though it is pretty simple, I mean, there's not really a huge change in this one after you get through the initial opening. Like once you hit the mid into the dry down, there's not a huge change other than just those clean woods kind of becoming the focal point. But even with the simplicity here, it grows on you. It's just an easy to wear kind of fragrance. It's not trying to set the world on fire. It's not trying to be something hyper unique. It's not trying to be artistic. It's just basically trying to be usable. You know, it's taking a utilitarian approach here. It's like, hey man, 
you can use me in a lot of situations and people are gonna, in general, think it smells really nice. And that's the type of scent it is. Just easy to wear. It's not anything really fussy. It gets the job done. Oh yeah, 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 uh, performance. Actually pretty good, surprisingly. Tommy Hilfiger has a lot of fragrances and flankers that have crap performance, but this one is surprisingly pretty good. You're looking at about seven hours in terms of longevity, projection best in the first hour, hour and a half or so, and then it sits a little closer to the skin, but I would still say that overall the projection a little bit above average. And for a fragrance that's more so for daytime use, spring, summer, fall, that's good. So not really a whole lot to knock here other than just it's not really anything super new or unique, but ultimately it's also a Tommy Hilfiger fragrance. Not too many people are looking at Tommy Hilfiger at this point and being like, those guys, groundbreakers. They are kind of at this point what they are. They're a TJ Maxx special kind of brand, but they do still have solid stuff and this is one. All right guys, if you have smelled Tommy Hilfiger impact. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the cap that I keep messing with and can't quit messing with. Eventually, I feel like I'm going to end up breaking it because I keep doing this, but it's kind of cool in a gimmicky sort of way. All right, it's going to do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video.